Hi, my name is Chuck Christner, and I'm the current chair of the Indiana CPA Society Peer Review Committee. And with me today is Steve Stuckey, who's the past chair. We would like to talk to you a little bit today about the SCPA's new peer review mentoring program. Steve, how are you doing? Good. Thanks, Chuck. Good. Steve, I understand you played a key role in the mentoring program for the Indiana CPA, Indiana CPA Society. Can you tell us a little bit about that and the new ASCPA's peer review mentoring program? Certainly. This is an important part of the profession today and it all started with the need being identified by the AICPA in order to continue the success of the peer review program. Mm -hmm. This program is designed to match professionals together and coach and train the first time team captains. Good. I also understand you're serving as a mentor to a colleague in your firm. How's that going? You guys getting along? Yes, good question. We're getting along great. We've done several peer reviews together. Mm -hmm. His capabilities are good and he's a strong supporter of the peer review program. Most importantly, I've been able to see him grow professionally. That's great. That's exciting for him. Yes, it is. The ACPA has some great information about the mentoring program on their website and how mentors and mentees can get involved in the new mentoring program. There's a link that includes some frequently asked questions about the mentoring program. Steve, as an experienced reviewer, what is my incentive as a, to be involved as a mentor? Good question. Well, Chuck, a few things come to mind. Initially, it's an opportunity to impact the professional lives of others. It improves and preserves practice quality, mm -hmm. allows you to pay it forward to the next generation of peer reviewers, and it's an expansion of the peer reviewer pool. Good. Steve, when a mentee participates in a peer review under the supervision of a mentor, who's responsible for the peer review? Good question. The mentor is a team captain and is responsible for the overall peer review. The mentee is a review team member who participates in the review. Now, the mentor is responsible for the work performed by the mentee, just like any other team member would be. Then finally, the peer review report would be issued by the mentor's firm, and both the mentor and the mentee would be required to participate in the review. Hmm, that makes sense. Another good question that comes up is, what fee structure is utilized in a mentor-mentee relationship? Does the 80-20 rule apply? <laughs> good one. I wish it was that simple. However, the answer to that question is, it must be market-driven and decided by both the mentor and the mentee. That makes sense. Steve, thank you for your help today to introduce the ICPA's new peer review mentoring program. Both Steve and I would like to challenge each of you to consider multiplying yourself as a mentor and impact the life of another professional, or become a mentee and accelerate your professional career in an incredible way. Thank you. And get involved.